Hello, Lita. Hey. Hey, Nigel. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. You doing okay? Yep. You working on a masterpiece? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a mural for a nature center on the south side. Okay. And it's going to be blown up to like 11 feet by 9 feet. So, yeah. Okay, what is, uh, what's the piece based on? This is based on the habitats of the Sand Ridge Nature Center. Okay. Part of the Cook County Forest Preserve. Okay. And it's four seasons in the winter fall, summer, and spring to go. Okay. Spring is my last frontier. So yeah. This is probably going to be like a, a 300 hour project. Okay. This one is a long time, long time in the making. A lot of compiling of images. Okay. In Photoshop to make it look like a scene. I uh, gathered about 60 different images to come up with my reference material. Okay. And I just paint from that. So yeah, it takes a long time and they have to review it and look at it. Okay. Make sure all the species are correct and nice. accurate. And yeah, it's taken a while. How did you get into the art world? Oh my goodness, I was born in. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom and my dad met at the Cleveland Art Institute. Okay. And yeah, they're what uh? What was your education? I went to art school at Ringling. Way back. Okay. And then I decided I was an illustration major, and then I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to make a living, so I went back to school and studied graphic design okay. and advertising, and did that for about 18 years. So yeah. Okay. So, where are we right now? What is this location down here? Ah, this is the Little Bits Workshop. Okay. So this, is, this is something that was born out of not wanting to sit in a gray cubicle for my whole life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to get my hands messy. Yes. So, we, Paul and I, went to Russia. Okay. And we were on a missions trip working with kids at a summer camp. Decided, I decided I am not going to be doing something at a computer my whole life. Mm -hmm. I need to work with kids. Okay. So that was back in 2001. In 2010, it took me a while to get the plan together, but okay. 2010 we opened this, and this is our 11, almost 11 years. Nice. And yeah, teaching kids primarily how to use their hands and how to draw how to do artwork and how to use tools. So okay. Important. Yeah. Okay, do you want to show us around a little bit yeah, workshop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can show you one of my other commissions okay. start, since we're down here. This one over here was done for Trailside Museum. Okay. One of four. Obviously that's spring. Okay. So that was a that one took about ninety hours to paint. Ninety hours? Yeah. Okay. And then we've got this one over here which is kind of a fall into winter scene. Okay. This is the only bird that comes to Illinois for the winter, the junco. Okay. And since we're down here, we should talk about this piece. This is pre-COVID and probably the, one of the most recent paintings. Um, this one I like to call Huga. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is all about... Community, coziness, being out in nature, being with people, candles, tea, craftiness. It's mm -hmm. like, it's like, a, like a, do you see the tree in there? There's kind of a tree of life going on. Okay. And in, in a way, you know, we need community. And life comes from being with people. Mm. So this I literally finished as COVID was coming into for a landing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so it took on a really special meaning. Yeah. Oh, look here. You recognize any of the buildings? It's pretty abstract. Which ones? How about this one? It looks very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the castle that I attend. Yeah, it's the <laughs> castle. And, and here's the good book. 
Okay. Right here, and I have a thing about fire. I like it. Okay. <laughs> I need fire. I need candles. This is like Thanksgiving dinner or something. Okay. Actually, you know what this is? What is this it? This is Wednesday night dinner. Okay. That's Anna's food. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> so you like to paint with a lot of colors? Yes. Yeah. This is me cutting loose from this stuff. This is this takes a lot of focus and concentration, and this is like cut loose and just do it from the mind and not reference material. Okay. How is art therapeutic for you? <sighs> so it's the thing that I do where time. Mm. Yeah, like I lose time. I okay. don't know. It's not work. It's um, you get lost in it. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. So when the kids come down here, what are the activities that they're doing? Well, once upon a time, we <laughs> used to pack them in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, it's like a pile of stuff. However, we do have an outside workshop now. Okay. Um, the activities that we do are a lot of sewing, a lot of knitting, uh, drawing, painting, learning how to use hammers and nails and screwdrivers and um, saws. Okay. And how to whittle. Okay. So yeah, we do a lot of things. This this little project over here is probably everybody's favorite. We build little houses out of. Trash, basically. A lot of trash. <laughs> A trash house. Okay. <laughs>
standing in her doorway. Oh yeah, we can see that. We see, see you. <laughs> yeah. What do you like to draw the most? Too hard, Nigel. I can't decide. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm in this rut of doing nature stuff. You know, I, I end up doing a lot of animals and birds. And I love collage. There's a little collage that I did. Nice. Yeah. But um, I I can't decide on that one. Okay. Yeah, I love doing the nature stuff, but then I got to cut loose and go the other way and do abstract or geometric. So I'll, I'll give you two of that. Okay. <laughs>